All right, here is a updated Epic Toolbox Tour. Uh, I've had this thing since mid-February, I think. I've already changed it up a lot, and there's also no tripod tonight because I'll be moving around, so sorry for my shaky-ass hands. Uh, I just picked these up today. I ordered them a while back. I like nut drivers, and I like T-handles. A lot of people don't agree with them, but I don't care. I like them. Update on this guy. It burned a hole in itself. So that's that's pretty cool uh top drawer all the sockets all of them i added some toolbox widgets for my ratchets uh this little mag rail holds that guy in place if i got these nifty uh grip edge if you'll know you know <clears throat> excuse me i had to add the tundra 43 mil wheel nut or wheel hub socket for the new axle nuts on the 22 and up tundras I uh, replaced my old Craftsman with some Snap-on Impacts. Uh, I got a 22 over here, but it's thin wall. Back here, I got nut grip, nut grip, just some quarter-inch universals, some half-inch coke and stuff. Kind of rearranged how all this is. All my swivels are still on the side. Um, I got some extra, like, VIM half-cuts, uh, some Matco stubbies, a random impact extension chilling there uh the coking impacts are new these are pretty badass i uh, swapped all my chromes out to the vim ones i've been using those to um just kind of test them see how they are they're been holding up uh, i'll be using them on an impact i know you're not supposed to i also don't care anyway well, let me fix this real quick i have a damaged rail and Long story, it didn't come damaged, I damaged it, and it just keep falling off. <clears throat> Next one, I kind of rearranged this a little bit too. It's kind of all impact sockets. I put my, my big ends back there from Capri. Uh, some more toolbox widget. Uh, I try to keep all the Capri impacts together. So you have your quarter inch, three eighths, three eighths and half stubby, half inch, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, axle nut sockets. Yeah, I can think of it. Uh, only downside to this cart so far is these, these are snap-on, these are coking, uh, they don't fit standing up. Uh, I can't shut the drawer, that kind of sucks. Um, pry tools, more pry tools, these don't really fit in the toolbox widget, and so I just kind of throw them in there. Uh, these are going to be green, don't worry, just haven't come in yet. VIM. Mac USA. Like I said, this is all mainly impact stuff. All your impact adapters. I know I don't need this. I don't know why I keep it. Whatever. Pre half inch for this is like oil change stuff. Uh, claw Toyota filter. I have the VW Mercedes Audi filter back there. Uh, oil filter sockets. Even though regular socket works, because I have all the sockets. I also did toolbox widget in here. Full toolbox widget, 6 through 32 Mac, um, 8 through 19 Capri extractor wrenches. This is Alien Space Saver. Uh, I really like their logo because it's ass, Alien Space Saver. So I thought that was funny. Uh, these two just kind of live there. Uh, big snap-on wrench. Three Capri ratchet wrenches because they discontinued these. I like them because they are six point, but they're discontinued right now. Sad. Uh, Snap-on ratcheting, there's 8 and then 10 through 19. Double offset box from Capri. Uh, it was a lot cheaper to get this entire set than the entire Snap-on set. Great wrenches, don't get me wrong. The Snap-on ones are awesome, but I don't use these enough to warrant you know, four or $500 in these guys. Bought this one for Toyota's uh, 24 drain plugs for diffs, 22 and 24 for alignment eccentrics, which is also where I got this behemoth in here. Let me get it out. It's a 27 by 30 Matco double offset box ratcheting thing. Um, you can do alignments from one side on the Tundras when you put the 30 on the Eccentric and then the 22 or 24, whatever it is, through it. Uh, to be honest with you, I just wanted to have a complete set of all they offer, and that's it's me just being me. But what do you do? Also, toolbox widget down here. Uh, got all the shit out of the cases. Really freed up a lot of room. Pliers, wrenches, picks. Uh, this says, see if I can open it. One-handed. Shit. 
I ain't going down for a second. Okay, here we go. So this is a cool little set from Koken. It's just a little ratcheting bit adapter. 5 16 on one side, quarter inch on the other. It comes with some sockets, a bunch of different bits. I do wish it would have like individual holders, kind of like this one from Icon. Just little holders for it so it's not all flopping around in there. But nonetheless, it's still the... Um, it's still a better quality one than the Icon one, in my opinion. To each their own. I just give my opinion. Y'all listen to it, y'all don't. It is what it is. I don't know. Uh, I thought this was really funny. Remove before closing and sell them a new strut from JD Tico. So that's funny. I like that. Uh, 90 degree pry tools. Uh, I put this one down here, not in the pry tool drawer, because um, I don't really use that small one a lot. But I bought the two pack. What are you going to do? Uh, big picks, or this is just two-piece radiator pick set, and then this is the big picks, magnetic picks. Those are really cool. If you hang them on the bottom of your lift like I did and forget about them, they'll explode when you lower the lift. It's really funny. Uh, those have been getting a lot of use. Um, my favorite screwdrivers right now are these guys, mainly because they have striking caps. And then it's this hexagonal shank, so you can put a wrench on it. And yeah, those, those are really nice. Um, I think it's like a hundred bucks for this set. Uh, I bought these so I could have some technically JIS. Those are also uh, JIS rated. I asked Koken and they said they make everything to JIS standard for their Phillips, which is cool. These are Vessel. Um, honestly, they say Woody. Thought that was funny, so I bought it. I try to live my life around humor and dark humor and yada yada. Destroys a mess. Uh, my power tools. Uh, I got some random shit in here. Some Milwaukee shockwaves. So I'm testing those out. Flat fours that I've rendered utterly useless because I haven't found a situation where I can. I need to put a wrench on these. Usually, if I'm in that tight of a space, uh, it, that won't even fit. This big behemoth. Um, it's longer than the Snap-on one. If y'all, case were wondering, it's like almost two inches longer. Two inches does make a difference, boys. Uh, I think it's just a box. This is the cam lock box. Uh, actually, I think it's cam lock. Oh, cam lock's in it. Cam lock socket. Um, they've been testing this thing out. I really want to do a thorough review on it because I think they're really pricey and really, really expensive for what they are. But if they work, it will be 100% worth it. I know you guys who work at Ford and Toyota like I do, the 21 and the 19 swollen lug nuts, absolute fucking pain in the ass. So if that is... If that works out, that's 100% worth it, but I just, I haven't, unfortunately, I haven't had any swollen looks since I got it, which is usually how it works. The AM set's been pretty awesome. Uh, I like the green foam. Obviously, green's my thing. Max set uh, is decent. I've been waiting on this warranty for so long. He gave me the premium one instead of those two, so that was cool. This one's a lot better than these, which are just the same as the Craftsman ones you buy at Lowe's. Snap-on wheel nut sockets. I'll do a review on those. Because they're increased hex depth, deeper, all that shit. And, uh, yeah, I, don't really, I haven't really found much of a difference between the regular snap-on impact sockets minus the increased depth. But the more I use them, the more I use them, all that. Those live in here to die because they don't fit anywhere else. Uh, wheel hangers, um, spline lock keys, uh, my Koken one. I want to get a, the, the rest of those, but... Yeah, I'm looking at organization options for this. Uh, I might just put some, like, wheel accessories, wheel sockets on some rails or some mag rails down here. I don't really know yet. However, I did order... I'm going to get rid of this screwdriver drawer, and I ordered two two-inch drawers to replace this four-inch with. I ordered those today, so it will... I mean, you don't need a four-inch drawer for stuff that takes up less than two inches. So that'll give me a whole other drawer, probably to put those T-handles in and some other stuff, but... See updated cart tour, and uh, I like it. I'd buy it again. So, there y'all go.